Sell Your Toys Now Mobile App A hassle-free guide Please note Since we pay the shipping to get your items to us, we typically cannot make an offer on less than 15 items. Each submission is evaluated by a member of our staff. Most submissions of less than 15 items are automatically declined. First, simply search for Sell Your Toys Now in the App Store and download our app. Now, open the app to start scanning your toys. In the bottom right corner, click Scan a Barcode. This will turn your phone's camera into a scanner. Simply scan the item's barcode. If the item is not in our database, you'll see this screen, where you can add the item yourself. Enter any necessary information, such as the name of the item. The UPC will already be filled in. Details like the MPN and photos are optional, but they do help us when creating your price quote. If you wish to add photos, click the coordinating camera icon. Snap your photo, and it will be added to the custom toy. Repeat this step for any other photos you wish to add. Scroll down, and you may add notes explaining the box condition, or anything else you'd like for us to know. Adjust the quantity to represent, how many of this item you have. Now, click Add to Quote Cart. This takes you to your Quote Cart page, where you can see the item you just added. Each time you add an item, it will show up in the list on your quote card page. To add another item, press scan a barcode and repeat this process. If you're having trouble scanning or if your item doesn't have a barcode, you may click the search button. This will take you to the home page where you can type keywords from the name of your item. If the item is in our system, you will see search results and you can click the plus sign to add that item to your quote card. If the item is not in our system, you will be prompted to add the item manually on this page. When your quote card is ready, press Request a Quote. Fill out the information and click Submit. Please note, you must select your state from the drop-down list rather than typing it in manually. If you do not do this, you will receive an error message when trying to submit. You'll now see this pop-up containing your reference number. You will also receive an email confirming that your list was sent to us. You will hear from us within 48 business hours of submitting your list.